They've now conquered the land. The world's first giant reptiles have arrived. But they're not related to dinosaurs. Their descendants will be of a very different kind. Reptiles have now spread all across the globe. Edaphosaurus bask in the early morning sun. They're three meters long, as big as hippos, and like them, they're vegetarians. In this harsh world, creatures need ways to regulate their body temperature. Edaphosaurus are sluggish in the autumn morning chill, but they'll soon warm up, thanks to the huge sail on their backs. While to heat up, they simply turn their sails towards the sun like a solar panel. Amazingly, these strange sailbacks are related to us. They're part of a very special group of creatures called mammal-like reptiles. It's down to them that we have control over our body temperature today. She finds a smaller, softer target. This was only a mockable young. The panicking Edaphosaurus flushed their sails with blood, flashing an eye spot to distract the predator's attention from their vulnerable head. But Dimetrodon can see through their disguise. locks on to her victim. As well as the young Edaphosaurus didn't stand a chance. This is a crucial kill for the Dimetrodon. Before she lays, she needs to eat enough to last her for the next seven months. To boost her baby's chances of survival, she's evolved a basic form of parental care, guarding her eggs. But the smell of blood has attracted more Dimetrodon. The female knows better than to defend her kill. While lions today consume 70% of a carcass, Dimetrodon eat 90. But they'll only eat intestines after shaking out the waste inside. Dung is one thing a Dimetrodon can't stomach. With the warmer weather, the Edaphosaurus lays beneath the conifers, shading their sails from the sun to avoid overheating. As summer arrives, the Edaphosaurus are thriving in the heat. The young have grown and test out their newfound strength. 